This series of videos have been developed by Public Health Services. The sessions are designed to provide self-directed learning and cover the basics of infection prevention and control. This session is about aseptic technique. From this session, you will have an understanding of the difference between sterile and aseptic. You will also have an understanding of aseptic technique principles. Standard precautions refer to work practices that are applied to everyone, regardless of their perceived or confirmed infectious status, and are the minimum level of infection prevention and control. One element of standard precautions is using aseptic technique. Healthcare workers have used the terms sterile technique and aseptic technique interchangeably. However, the terms mean different things. Sterile technique aims to achieve total freedom from microorganisms and is very difficult to achieve outside of a laminar airflow cabinet or specially designed operating theatre. Aseptic technique aims to prevent microorganisms on hands, surfaces and equipment from being introduced to susceptible body sites. Aseptic technique is achievable in both clinical and non-clinical settings. Aseptic technique protects patients during invasive clinical procedures and uses infection control measures to minimise the presence of organisms. That is, preventing pathogenic organisms in sufficient quantity to cause infection from being introduced to susceptible body sites by the hands of staff, or from contact with surfaces or equipment. There are a number of core components of aseptic technique. These are using a non-touch technique to avoid unnecessary handling of key components of sterile equipment. Hand hygiene is essential and depending on the complexity and type of the procedure may involve a routine hand wash or surgical scrub. Aseptic field management provides a controlled working space for the procedure. Personal protective equipment is required and depending on procedural complexity may include non-sterile gloves or sterile gloves and gown, a surgical mask and eyewear. Environmental controls ensure the environmental surfaces are clean prior to the procedure. Before undertaking an aseptic procedure, it is recommended that you are bare below the elbows. This ensures that clothing and jewellery do not hinder hand hygiene or the procedure. Bare below the elbows involves wearing short sleeve clothing or rolling up long sleeves. Hands, wrists and forearms should be free of jewellery and watches, although in some circumstances a single flat ring may be worn. With all aseptic procedures, dispose of waste immediately following the procedure into the correct waste stream. This includes the disposal of single-use items. Reusable equipment must be reprocessed according to manufacturer's instructions and sterile stock stored to maintain sterility. It is recommended that interventions that break a closed system are minimised, as this increases the risk of introducing an organism. Aseptic technique protects patients during invasive clinical procedures and uses infection control measures to minimise the risk of organisms being introduced to susceptible sites. Principles include a non-touch technique, hand hygiene, aseptic field management, use of personal protective equipment and environmental controls. This session has been based on the Australian Guidelines for the Prevention and Control of Infection in Healthcare. Thank you to the Australian Commission on Safety and Quality in Healthcare for permission to use this standardised infection prevention and control signs.